All right, what's going on, dudes? And welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival, where this time we're gonna start off by collecting some wood and then try to make some ruby tools and find out whether or not they're any good. There were a couple of rubies right here, so I just mined them out. Now we need to get some wood, though, because as you may remember, last time around, our chest turned to dirt and all of our wood was lost. Not that we had that much. I could mine out some of the planks here, but what I think I'll do is go back up and hit up a tree because I actually installed, ow, 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 stop, that's not very nice. Why does that hurt me? It's not like it's on fire or anything. Um, what I went and did is I installed Tinker's Construct in order to make it much easier for us to collect wood and not have a bunch of floating trees uh, left over. So let's go ahead and make our way out, I guess. I'm not gonna make a pretty staircase yet. I'm just gonna build up totally vertically at the moment and then We'll come back down after we've got some wood and uh, or actually we can just try making the uh, the ruby tools when we're up top. So wait, where did I come from? Right here. Okay, it's becoming nighttime. Actually, that's a little bit sketchy. So let me sleep through the night and then we'll go back up. So what I can do is just get a few pieces of wood here. I know it's less efficient to do it this way but I'd rather it be daytime. Look on that mini-map. Look at all the mobs that are just surrounding this area. No, thank you. Okay, so now, actually I need, uh, no, we still have our workbench. So, let me place that down right here and make another bed. Cool. We have our wool for that. Boom. And, all right. Let's sleep safe and sound, I hope. Nobody come and wake us up, we're good. Just gonna have a nice peaceful night's sleep under some cobwebs in a mine and we're good to go, awesome. Okay, so that'll work. And now we can head on up the waterfall and before doing that though, let's make an ax uh, with none of the wooden sticks that we have. We'll get, we'll get another couple pieces and then we'll make an ax from that. We'll make a dat ax, we'll make dat iron ax and it'll be great because we'll be able to harvest trees like there's no tomorrow. Ooh, look at that crazy orange glowing ore back there. <laughs> this is a this is a pretty cool place though. The whole double double uh, ravine structure kind of dealio. All right. So sticks, boom. That'll give us five. Give me that axe, and now we're good to go chop down some trees up the waterfall we go i just want to i really just want to make it to the nether so i can fly because that would make everything so much easier wouldn't it god the waterfall noise is ridiculous i feel like i've, I've never really envisioned the uh the whole just water falling down thing to be a very powerful force in minecraft when i i suppose if you had that much it it would be a pretty good sized waterfall all right tricapitator 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 do work it's gonna take a little while, I think. Here we go, and tree belong to me. There we go, beautiful, awesome, cool. I hope this turns into, into regular wood. Uh, that would be preferable. I don't think I need all the saplings, and it's good because I'm not actually collecting them. Can I get uh, acacia wood and turn that into sticks? Okay, I can, good. Um, so we're good there. Cool, cool. So let me get some more sticks out of that, and I guess I'll head back down and make a chest as well. We'll uh, we'll make another home base over here, which is this is probably a good place to, to make it. Well, a secondary outpost because we do have all of these ravines to look through, all two of them. Okay, so let's make a chest here, and fingers crossed this time it doesn't turn into dirt, which I still don't know what caused that. So anyway, okay, let's. Put some stuff in here so we can clear up our inventory, but before doing... Well, actually, yeah, let's do that real quick. Um, uranium, put all our wool in here. I still don't know what that does. It's just going to be a little bit of a pain until we find a home base, because our inventory will be cluttered inevitably. Um, so we will have to make some sacrifices for certain items, but oh well. Um, in the meantime, I can actually put down my furnace as well and smelt some more food. That's probably not a bad Oh, got our beef here. Smelt some of that and try to make some ruby tools. How many? How much damage does a ruby sword? Ate it instantly. Instantly, we're doing more damage than a diamond sword. This is fantastic. Okay, so ruby pickaxe, boom, and now ruby sword. Instantly, we're just making huge damage. This is amazing. That's legit. Diamond sword to seven. We're doing nine. Oh my goodness. I don't know what the. Uh, hold on. 
Uh, F3 plus B, right? F3 B, and no, whoa, 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 ah, no, F3 plus B is hitbox. Uh, F3 plus B, no, uh, fart noises. Uh, is it F3 plus H? Uh, that did something, let's see, what did H do? Okay, never mind, we're good. I'm just experimenting. Um, and then durability, do I get durability now? No, I don't. God dang it. Did I forget the, the command or is it just not working uh, with all the mods installed? I don't know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So we've got our awesome sword and awesome pickaxe. We'll find out what the durability is approximately in just a few seconds. Let me mine my way down. And that seems to take out, ouch. <laughs> Seems to take out cobblestone a lot faster than iron does. But now, ow, 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 what, what? Oh, Hecate. Come on, Hecate, don't be rude. You're gonna get so owned by my ruby sword. Yeah, wrecked and a half. All right, so, um, what we need to do is we need to find some lava and then turn that into obsidian and keep our fingers crossed that the ruby sword can, uh, can mine that out. All right, and see you later. That damage getting wrecked up in here. How are we doing on food? We're doing all right, I guess. Still have our golden apples and such. Um, oh, more emeralds, awesome. Just be kind of cool if we could find some diamonds. Oh, so I guess it brings up that notification down there when uh, we start a new stack of something in our inventory. It seems to be the case. Uh, lava. Lava, you gotta be around here somewhere, Mr. Lava. Don't you be running and hiding away from me. I just wanna make it to the nether. That's all I wanna do. Actually, once we've got our obsidian, I should probably try to find our home base because it'd be good to put the uh, the nether portal in our home base as opposed to just in a random, random location. Uh, Vintium or... The only problem here is it's really just going to clutter up my inventory and I, I can't take it all with me. So until we've found our home base, it uh, it's probably worth just leaving things be for the most part. Oh, okay. Lava, but not a, not a full thing of lava. Fire infused stone, fancy stuff. Ah, uh, god dang it. Yeah, dang it. I mean, it's probably if I follow the mine... It's probably more likely that I'll find a, a pool of lava uh, way down below. So, I don't know. I guess I'll just enter on into this place. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to find something. Okay, cobwebs, don't do this to me. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's see, block this off. Um, Actually, I, mm, this is a good idea. This is a good idea. I don't know if this is a good idea. Okay, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. We're good. Not gonna upset in that. Iron fused stone. I hear the waterfall. What do we have in this chest? Uh, copper ingot from industrial craft. A safari net? Can we, like, pokeball things? Oh, I'm taking that just to, just to be safe. Uh, and copper ingot. So we have two types of copper, I guess. One for Galacticraft and one for industrial craft or, or one yeah one for galactic craft one for industrial craft which is nifty let's see if we can find some lava down here i'm gonna get myself lost so let me put down some torches all right should i get some more galactic craft copper perhaps i don't know on the way back if i have room for now we'll be focusing on our obsidian uranium uranium is apparently rare so i will collect uranium when i see it and apparently it's useful, probably for nuclear reactor type dealios. That's what I'd have to imagine. Um, if we can keep heading downwards, there's got to be some lava somewhere. Come on. Down here, maybe? Work my way to a lower elevation and find a cave that'll take me to an even lower elevation. Use the axe. Um, yeah. Going deeper on down into the abyss. Don't want to get wooden tie from real craft. Yeah, see, all this stuff is just... Oh, they don't stack. God dang it. Uh, all this stuff is just going to keep building and building in my inventory, and I'm not going to be able to uh, hold it all. So, once again, hold on just a second. 
I will take more rubies though, since we already have those, and they're fancy, and they're awesome, and they do more damage than diamonds, and they're more plentiful, because we still haven't even found diamond. That's a dead end as well. Come on! Find me some lava! This is unbelievable that there is no lava around here. This doesn't lead into any caves that... Crowbar. That's railcraft. All this stuff is railcraft, which... Don't have room for at the moment. Come on, lead me into a cave. What I think I'm gonna do is I'll probably just cut until I've found lava or something interesting. So yeah, give me a second and uh, we shall return. So I actually decided to look at my mini map and it looks like there's actually a nice pool of lava right nearby. So I'm hoping that if I mine over to it, it's straight in front of where I'm facing right now. And I'm hoping that I can mine over to it. I'm going to I'm gonna go above just in case. Um, I would like to not have lava pour in on my head. And that may very well happen. But hopefully we can dig. If it's above me, I'm going to be in a, the world of hurt right now. <laughs> but hopefully it'll be below me. And that way I can mine down and find it. Oh, nope, it's above me. It's definitely above me. <laughs> It's a good thing I didn't break that next block. All right, let's mine around it. Thank you, lava particles. I appreciate you giving me a heads up here. It's very kind of you. Uh, let's watch for more lava particles. No, we're still good. Lava particles, we still good, we still good. Okay, cool. Still good, I think. And now, now we can go over this way and mine into it. All right, cool. I wonder if this is just like an isolated pocket of uh, of lava. That would be weird. That doesn't usually happen. I don't, well, I don't really know. To be honest, I haven't used this particular mini map before. So um, anyway, I think it was back over this way. Now we mine down and there we are. Beautiful. Nice little isolated pocket of lava. Thank you, Zan's mini map. Very helpful. And hopefully, I know it's multiple layers deep, that is for sure. Um, but is there any way we can fix that problem? I don't know. Uh, let me just see how large this area is. Okay, there's definitely enough. We're just going to have to worry about, uh, well, farewell iron. Uranium. Uh, no, it's not. We're just going to have to worry about uh, all of the obsidian just falling into the lava. So I'm going to empty out some of the things I don't need for the moment, like the gravel and the string and the dirt. And now let's make some obsidian. Woo! Okay. Now let's make some more obsidian. And let's see if this works or not. This could not work very well. Uh, can you mine out the obsidian? Oh, uh, no. I am filled with disappointment. Apparently, ruby ore will not suffice to mine this out. That's a bummer. So we're going to have to find some diamonds then first, and then somehow... Uh, managed to find our way back to this place, which the actual location is not so much of an issue. I can waypoint it uh, and choose my color as sort of reddish yellow for lava and call it lava. Lava spot. We'll probably find another one soon enough, but yeah, fart noise is cool. So we need to find diamond. I was like, well, maybe because Ruby gives us so much, uh, so much damage that it could be easy. But alas, uh, twas not the case. So now to find diamond. God dang it. Or what we could do is just take a little break and uh, and try using one of the uh, the ore spawn uh, ores and spawning some sort of creature of sorts. Maybe the jumpy bug. A jumpy bug sounds pretty cool. Um, no idea what it does, but uh, anyway, not a big deal. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I lost my way in here, unsurprisingly. Cool, emeralds. Can I actually, ooh, maybe, can I make emerald tools? Is there a mod that gives me the ability to 
There may be no, 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 emerald pickaxe. Uh, oh, ha <laughs> that may just do the trick. Give me one second to make another workbench and see if I may have just caught my lucky break. How much damage? Oh, 10 attack damage. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, yes, please. Oh, this is legit. Okay, please, 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 please be able to mine obsidian. Pretty please be able to mine obsidian. And pretty please do lots of damage. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, we have way lots of cobblestone. I don't think I need to uh, get that workbench. Okay, so where did I come from? Let me find, uh, let me find where I was just at. So I can try to, nope, it was back. Another way, um, <laughs> as you can see, I'm really good at uh, not getting lost in caves. Darn it, this is embarrassing. This is real embarrassing. No, oh my goodness, what have I done? Give me one second to, to figure out my, oh no, there, there we, where we were, I was just, ha, no, I was just being funny, I didn't lose my way, what are you, no, don't be silly, what are you talking about, we're good, we're all good, all is well, emerald pickaxe, pretty please, help me out here, help me out here, you can be my best friend, and please, yes, oh, it's going, it's going, it's going, the trials and the tribulations, and please work, yes, all right, thank you, thank you, or spawn mod. I love you. I love you and everything that you stand for. And what else? What do I not need at the moment? Um, I don't know. I'll just toss out some aluminum. And keep mining this out so we can venture on into the nether. Woohoo! It's going to be great. And hopefully lava doesn't fall on my head. Oh, it's only one deep. Oh, this is just... This is a dream come true. One deep obsidian, so I don't have to worry about it falling into the lava. This is amazing. Okay, that is three. Well, I guess let me uh, do a quick cut until we have completed mining out all of the obsidian. And then we'll be good to go. We'll head back up to somewhere. Maybe make another portal. Maybe keep venture. Yeah, we'll just make another portal. And then we can walk back out quickly again because we'll have flight. And then we can deconstruct it and uh, take it to our home base and it will be great all right I'll see you in just a few minutes okay so I collected obsidian I got a few extra pieces just in case we need them and I didn't realize that somehow when we created the the pick it got silk touch on it I don't know if that's something that is done by the or spawn mod or if we have another mod installed that randomly possibly gives me enchantments when I create items either way that's kind of cool so, 18 pieces of obsidian is enough for a portal. Again, I'm probably going to just... I'll, I'll spawn it when we're up top. That way we'll get flight, and then I'll deconstruct it, and then I will take it with me uh, to... or take the, the obsidian with me to wherever we end up making a base. Uh, and I will need to get some flint real quick, but there was gravel uh, right next to where we put down the chest. Um, so, yeah, we're cool. We are in business. We're, we still need to find diamonds because if we want to make a quarry, we are going to need them. But that's still a good ways away. Quarry is a pretty significant endeavor, although it is something we want to do in the uh, in the earlier game because it's better to be collecting lots and lots of resources early on than... Uh, oh, here we go. We can just get some gravel here. Maybe is this going to lead us back up? I don't know if I'm going the right way, to be honest with you. Um, but let's try to get some flint real quick. And flint, 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 flint. Flint, please. Flint, please. Pretty please. Some flint. I'd love to have some. It would be great if you wouldn't mind. That would be swell. Flint. No. Am I going to have to replace down all this gravel and try again? <laughs> God dang it. Pretty please. Give me... What is going on here? It never takes this long. Let me make a shovel really quickly. This... There we go. Finally. Took long enough. <laughs> uh, we can toss a stick. And... Toss that. Boom. Okay, so we have our flint. We have our steel. And flint and steel is donezo And we have everything we need to venture into the nether. Fantastic. And then we'll also make it... We'll also... I, I'm not going to do Mothra because I think Mothra is the moth from Godzilla. And that's just going to suck. Um, but Jumpy Bug sounds like it could be cool. I mean, I don't know. 
whatever 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 all right boom and solid work solid work now i just have to find my way out which is over here right am i going the proper direction i think i am yes i am awesome apparently i just regained my sense of direction as soon as i had uh, acquired the necessary materials also i don't think i really need that pickaxe nor that sword because we have one better now awesome okay this is good stuff good stuff i am stoked right now because progress is being made and it is legit so what do we we have to pick and choose what we're going to want to take with us now because we don't have any portable um storage mechanisms available at our disposal at the moment so um oh crap where did i put jumpy bug did i not get jumpy bug Hold on, did I, god dang it, one second, did I really not get Jumpy Bug? I wanted Jumpy Bug. Was my inventory full and therefore I didn't collect him? Crap, or did I not mine it and I just totally glossed over it? Give me one second, I'm good at this. I'm real good and uh, there's another thing up there, we can check that out, what is that? Uh, ancient dried apple cow? Did I, I think I definitely got Jumpy Bug, I just don't know what I did with him, uh oh sucks <laughs> if my inventory was full and I just didn't collect it uh, golden apple cow we've already experienced you okay what else what else should I get um, are there any more things to examine over here yeah that must have been what happened is that my inventory was just full so that I didn't um, mine him out oh well not a big deal not a big deal. Ancient dried. We just have a lot of ancient dried cows over here. Poor little, poor ancient dried cows fossilized from long, long ago. Um, mm -hmm. Or was Jumpy Bug down here? I can't even remember. Let me just check out uh, through this area real quick. Once again, make sure I didn't overlook anything. And then we'll continue on from there. I mean, I could do Mothra, but that just sounds like it's a really, really bad idea. That could lead to death and destruction, like the entire world just burning. So, gonna not, gonna not do that yet at the moment. That's okay, but we'll find, uh, we'll find something new. So for now, we'll never portal it up. Uh, let me pick and choose what I'm gonna take with me. And then, here we go.